Hello everyone, welcome to Badrais Academy. In the last video, we discussed about the economics preparation for the upcoming mains. What are the important topics? So in the last video, I suggested five chapters, the national income, fiscal policy, GST, investment, infrastructure, etc. In the part two today, in the second video, we are basically going to discuss again in GS paper 3, economics ka topics mein ame kya kya dekhna hai. So that is our discussion in part number 2. So in this discussion, we are basically going to talk about uh, questions which are related to mains. Now if you look at the previous year paper, APSC mains CCE 2022 in GS 3, economics ka question came about 100 marks. Similarly, in uh, CCE 2020, economics ka question alone came for 110 marks out of 250. That means in last two exams, economics ka paper covered almost 100 plus marks you can say. So these are the actual question which I already explained to you in the video, the first part video. If you see, I already many aapko explain kiya tha. This is the CCE 2022 and this is CCE 2020, right? So today we are going to look at what are the more topics that we have to prepare or kya naya topic hame dekhna hai. So today I suggest more topics for preparation that we need to focus. So topic number 6 because up to topic 1 to 5 I have given in part 1 video. So we start with the part 2. So topic number 6 I suggest that we should focus on an important topic for study that is Indian agriculture. So Indian agriculture topic if you look at it every year you have questions from Indian agriculture. Now if you look at the APSC old paper you find that APSC 2022 if you see the question what do you mean by supply chain of agricultural produce and also in this context they asked about e-technology basically marketing of agricultural products. So, agriculture topic normally keeps coming in exam, okay, that is the APSC 2022. Also, if you look at APSC 2022, there are two questions from agriculture alone. Second, me Saval kya pucha tha? the question is about food security, that is the public distribution system, how it is functioning in India, how we can do reforms in food security, that is what we call the PDS public distribution system but both these topics are part of agriculture related questions. Now you look at the APSC 2020 here they asked about the topic of minimum support price. So if you are looking what topics to study in agriculture there are many topics I highlighted all of the topics in yellow color each of these yellow ones highlighted are the topics for study for a mains preparation. So if you look at here, what is the minimum support price in the context of agriculture? In that only they added also green revolution. What is the role in green revolution? Right? That is the APSC 2020 ka question that also 15 mark question. Then there was a question on the soil health card. That is the testing of soil to tell the farmer what nutrition yeah, what fertilizer they should add in the soil. Okay, but this came as a short two mark question because it is an old pattern, 2018 ka pattern. Now we don't have two marks, but I am telling you, look at the topic. Here also, what is blue revolution? Now if you look at the blue revolution, APSC mein ye bar bar repeat ho chuka hai. So 2018 mein blue revolution aya tha. So if you look at here, blue revolution again 2016 mein bhi pucha tha. Then there was one more question about blue revolution in APSC 2015. So blue revolution bar bar APSC may repeat o chuka hai, right? That is the blue revolution. Another topic APSC asked is the organic farming. This topic came in both APSC and UPSC. And Assam Northeast is now very much suited for organic farming. So a topic wapas repeat hone mein, there is no doubt, right? Possibilities are there. This topic can be repeated. Now look at the APSC 2016, all these questions are only APSC 2016 and all these questions are related to agriculture. That means there are so many questions. If you count the marks, how many marks are there for uh, 
अग्रिकल्चर फ्रॉम एपीएससी 2016 टू फोर सिक्स एट प्लस एट सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन प्लस so if you see here they asked about the name the two tea gardens but blue revolution again repeated problems of small tea growers commercial crops of assam then this is again you see food security as i told you already upsc asked this question apsc also asked this public distribution this pds is the same topic as the national food security okay because agriculture food security public distribution system they are all same topic okay so this question also came for 8 marks then they asked about the features of indian agriculture and also the rice producing belt of india that is assam west bengal and the coastal region of odisha you know going down andhra tamil nadu etc okay so you see agriculture there are varieties of topic we have to prepare so each topic i highlighted here now look at the apsc 2015 APSC 2015 also repeated the blue revolution and also cash crops of Assam. Okay. So, APSC ka exam mein agriculture becomes an important topic for mains ka preparation and the topics within agriculture are many. Now, if you look at the UPSC, you will get to know more topics. Now, you recent 2024 UPSC, there were two questions on agriculture. One topic is land reform. Now, pay attention. ये लैंड रिफॉर्म का टॉपिक बार बार रिपीट हो चुका है यूपीएससी में लाइक हियर यू हैव लैंड रिफॉर्म इन 24 ओके सो नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द लैंड रिफॉर्म इन 23 ओके एंड लैंड रिफॉर्म्स इन 21 तो लैंड रिफॉर्म का जो टॉपिक है वो यूपीएससी में बार बार रिपीट हो चुका है लेकिन एपीएससी में ये लैंड रिफॉर्म का टॉपिक अभी तक आया नहीं है तो इस बार आने में doubt nahi hai so you can expect one topic from the land reform possibilities are there okay so that is the upsc question so 2024 mein upsc ne kya pucha tha irrigation system of india now if you look at the irrigation question it was already asked in upsc irrigation so if you see water storage and irrigation 2020 so 2020 ka irrigation question wapas repeat ho chuka hai 2024 mein so within UPSC questions are repeating and so UPSC ka question APSC may be aane ka chances bhi hai. So irrigation ka ek topic aap tik se dekke jana Assam ka economic survey mein irrigation ke baare mein diya hai Assam ke part mein aur India ka irrigation bhi aame dekhna chahiye. And this is again food security, buffer stock that is maintaining surplus stock by food corporation of India that is the topic here. Okay. Then this question repeated in APSC and UPSC, e-technology in production and marketing, UPSC 2023. So if you look at the APSC also this question came, okay, what do you mean by the e-technology in uh, agricultural marketing? So same e-technology topic repeated also in APSC and uh, UPSC, e-technology. Then land reform, as I told you already, teen bar many already aapko dikhaya land reform what is the impact of land reform what are the land reform measures announced by government ye topic aapko dekhna chahiye maine notes mein already aapko diya bhi hai economics ka mains ka notes mein land reform topic maine diya hai theek hai cropping pattern of the agricultural sector ka sawal bhi pucha jata hai what is cropping pattern ye topic bhi upsc mein teen bar repeat ho chuka hai लेकिन क्रॉपिंग पैटर्न अभी तक एपीएससी में आया नहीं है सो so, मैं आपको सजेस्ट कर रहा हूं गो थ्रू द क्रॉपिंग पैटर्न ऑफ इंडिया हाउ क्रॉपिंग पैटर्न इज चेंजिंग एंड व्हाट आर द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग क्रॉपिंग पैटर्न दैट वुड बी योर टॉपिक आल्सो फॉर स्टडी देन वी हैव अ सब्सिडी अनदर प्रॉब्लम दिस इज इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ डब्ल्यूटीओ वर्ल्ड ट्रेड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन करंट अफेयर दे आस्क ओके सो व्हाट आर द डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट सब्सिडी like MSP and all this problem in India in WTO. So, uska current affair topic mein ye pucha gaya tha. Okay. So, ye topic bhi aapko dekhna chahiye. Subsidy and its problem. Now, this question repeated in APSC, UPSC. Public distribution system. Already, I have seen this question in UPSC. UPSC may be 2022 mein ye question aa chuka hai. Right. 
then we have a marketing of agriculture now you see agricultural marketing ek important topic hota hai so you have a upsc 2022 agricultural marketing year also you see 2023 e technology it is in agricultural marketing okay also earlier also this question came here transport and marketing of agriculture that is 21 so agricultural marketing ek important topic banta hai exam mein both upsc and apsc mein okay so that is the marketing of agriculture then ye jo topic hai integrated farming ye upsc mein do bar aa chuka hai lekin apsc mein abhi tak aaya nahi hai integrated farming zero budget natural farming ye sab topic aapko thoda dekhna chahiye so i suggest that you preparing for mains you look at this topic integrated farming zero budget natural farming etc okay then this topic again repeated very often national food security act 2013 so if you look at even apsc apsc may be a topic pucha gaya tha the national food security act okay it is a repeated apsc and upsc okay so the food security is another as i told you is an important topic it is part of PDS, food security, all that is buffer stock, all same topic only, right? Then this is a cultivation, mostly you will cover this kind of topic in geography also, so it will overlap. But however, when we are talking about paper 3, paper 3 does not have a geography, okay? So here you have to look at more from the economics preparation also, wheat, rice system, how it is a success and what are the problems with it that, okay? Irrigation ka topic many already aapko bataya that we need to prepare. So the first topic that I suggest today is the topic of agriculture or is agriculture topic may there are so many sub topics like agricultural marketing, cropping system, food security, agriculture ka production, okay, then uh, subsidies by the government, then schemes related to agriculture, all this becomes one important topic for exam preparation. Topic number 7 I suggest today for your study is the topic of labor as well as employment related topic. Now APSC exam mein dekhye employment ka same topic repeat kya. 2020 mein pucha what are the reasons for educated unemployment and what may be the short term ya long term measure. Same question 2022 mein bhi aya tha. Can you suggest some measures to deal with the problem of educated unemployment here they included extra education policy. So, employment related topic APSC may aate hai, okay, we need to keep that in mind. Now, if you look at UPSC, they have also questions on labor and employment. So, this is a recent one, UPSC 2024, four labor codes of India. Today, the all India Bharat Band is going on for this only, the labor codes, okay. They are protesting against the labor codes, that is the Bharat Band today, right. So you see this becomes a current affair topic, UPSC mein ye sawal a chuka hai. To APSC mein bhi ye labor related question aapko current affair mein aane ka chances hai. And also here you will look at UPSC 2023 unemployment or unemployment ka estimate ka methodology ka sawal aya tha. To employment related question, labor related question exam mein aata hai. Now look at the UPSC ka if you see more question. Here they ask direct question about labor productivity and labor activity. How can you create more jobs without uh, reducing the labor productivity? Basically jobs and labor market question. UPSC 2017 also discussed about how can you increase the labor intensive export. That means creating more jobs. Okay. So labor related question, employment related question, you have to look at it. And also look at the current, what are the government cup policies on labor, employment, etc. Okay. Topic number 8 is the most important topic I would say. Government ka schemes as well as government cup policies. So government schemes and policies ka direct question exam mein diya jata hai. So currently what are the new scheme? How they are related to economic activity? O ame dekhna hai. Right? Don't look at very very old scheme unless they are uh, modified and revised today. You look and you can now look at some new scheme announced say in the last two years. Prelims ka preparation mein amne schemes ka compilation aapko diya hai. 
अभी उसको मेंस का पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू में देखना है विथ एनालिसिस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ठीक है अभी देखिए एपीएससी 2022 2020 में डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन आया था आत्मनिर्भर भारत अभियान दिस वाज द काइंड ऑफ अ पॉलिसी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट टू रिवाइव द इकोनॉमी फ्रॉम कोविड राइट दैट क्वेश्चन केम एस अ करंट अफेयर लेकिन ओल्ड पेपर में देखिए एपीएससी 2018 में पूछा था सॉइल हेल्थ कार्ड इट इज अ स्कीम अटल अमृत अभियान इट इज ऑल्सो स्कीम मेक इन इंडिया इट इज ऑल्सो स्कीम प्रधानमंत्री मुद्रा योजना इट इज ऑल्सो स्कीम सो यू पी सी स्कीम्स डोंट ओनली कम फॉर प्रिलियम्स नॉर्मली स्टूडेंट्स क्या करते हैं प्रिलियम्स के लिए स्कीम्स का प्रिपरेशन करते हैं लेकिन आपको मेन्स में भी स्कीम का डिटेल देखना चाहिए और उसका इम्पैक्ट देखना चाहिए इस स्कीम के फीचर्स क्या है इम्पैक्ट क्या है वो इकोनॉमी का उसका कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन कैसा होगा और एपीएससी में देखिए पॉपुलेशन पॉलिसी मतलब जब हम स्कीम्स एंड पॉलिसी की बात करते हैं इधर वी हैव अ पॉपुलेशन पॉलिसी देन वी हैव अ स्टैंड अप इंडिया स्कीम न्यू पेंशन स्कीम देन यू सी रूप टॉप सोलर प्रोग्राम राइट सो दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन हैव कम इन एग्जाम एपीएससी ऑल्सो रिसेंटली आस्ट अबाउट नेशनल लॉजिस्टिक पॉलिसी सो वेन यू टॉक अबाउट पॉलिसीज एंड स्कीम्स ऑफ गवर्नमेंट एग्जाम में आपको डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन या स्कीम्स का रिलेटेड इवेल्युएशन टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन एग्जाम में आएगा सो देयर स्टूडेंट्स एज यू आर प्रिपेरिंग फॉर मेन्स आई सजेस्ट दैट वेन यू प्रिपेयर जी एस थ्री स्पेशली इकोनॉमिक्स पेपर वेन यू प्रिपेयर यू लुक एट ऑल दिस एट टॉपिक्स दैट आई सजेस्टेड ओके out of these eight topics i am telling you at least six ya seven questions you will have in exam okay so prepare well and keep studying and uh, if you need any further information you can contact uh, badra ias academy at 8638391721 for any further query you can contact badra ias academy and uh, we'll come out with more and more topics also for mains preparation till then you keep watching our videos thank you